Hey guys and welcome to this video. Today I'll be discussing about the Boxer engine and in this video firstly I'll be telling you the difference between a Boxer engine and a V6 engine which has a 180 degree configuration. So first of all looking at the Boxer engine one basically can see that this piston and the piston on this side they move in and out together so this is very important regarding a Boxer engine and uh, as you can see from this animation that the piston on this side and the piston on this side they're moving in and out together so now let's take a look at a v6 engine which has a 180 degree configuration so now as you can see from this i'll just play on the animation now so as you can see the when the piston on this side comes out the piston on this side comes in and that is the main difference which is there between uh, v6 180 degree configuration and the uh, boxer engine configuration now this is pretty important because if you consider a boxer engine the primary forces secondary forces the primary moments and secondary moments they are absolutely zero or almost tending to zero which basically makes this configuration a very uh, stable configuration but on the downside if you basically see uh, when a boxer engine is made the time it basically takes is much more so that's the downside to it but as we can see that the boxer engine compared to a v6 engine the center of gravity of this engine is pretty low so if the car basically can steer around a corner at much higher speeds and therefore will not lose control or oversteer or understeer so now let's take a look at how uh, the making of this ca can be done in solid works and what exact what mates can be used First of all, I'll be showing you all the components that are there in this uh, configuration. So let's take a look at the V6 configuration with the 180 degree. So here I've created an exploded animation. And as you can see, these are the pistons. This is the nut and bolt assembly, which uh, connects the connect, uh, connecting rod to the common crank pin. So this is how the exploded animation of this engine looks like and this is the common crank pin uh, which is shared by these two connecting rods and therefore when uh, one of the piston moves uh, to the right side the other one the this piston on this side would move in and therefore that is the main configuration of a v6 engine with a 180 degree angle between the two connecting rods. So if you look at the mating, first of all, we'll enable all the temporary axis. And as you can see, uh, what I have, what I'd basically done is use the mate option in the assembly tab. Here I'd use the coincident mate option and mated the axis of this piston with the top plane so that the motion of this is confined to this and therefore it can only move in this plane. And then another important thing is that in order to confine the motion of the crankshaft so that it only has a rotational degree of freedom what what you will have to do is that uh, you will need to construct a line on the top plane or on whichever plane you will be making this assembly and there uh, you'll need to mate that line with the axis of this flywheel uh, and use the coincident mate option so that it only can move along that line and then you'll have to mate the endpoint of the line with this face and again use the coincident mate option which will enable only a uh, one degree of freedom for this so after doing this uh, when uh, when you are making the nut bolt assembly uh, what you will basically do is uh, mate the axis of this screw with the axis of this hole and uh, then use the lock mate option so that it does not move out of its place and again you will place the nut by first using the coincident mate option and mating the axis of this bolt with the nut and then using the lock mate option again so that is how uh, the mating of this has to be done and uh, one more information or thing i'll like to share is the fact that uh, Subaru is one of the companies that manufactures these boxer engines and has kind of created a revolution in that category. So if you see all of the WRX STI and the Subaru Imprezas, uh, all of those are having the boxer engine configurations. 
and so that is why you basically understand the boxer engine and its role and why Subaru is almost trying to kind of use it in every car model of its so that's it thanks for watching feel free to leave comments below and subscribe to this channel if you have to be bringing a lot more great videos ahead thanks